Hi everyone, my name is Jill Clearan and welcome to my course Blazor Getting Started. I am the CTO of Xperit Belgium and help customers with web and mobile development. Web applications are often built using JavaScript frameworks such as Angular or Vue. Up until now, C Sharp could only be used to build the backend. But a new feature of ASP.NET Core named Blazor lets us build interactive web UIs using C Sharp and .NET Code. Using HTML, CSS and C Sharp, it now becomes possible to build the same experiences for our users, but now both the client and the server code are written in C Sharp. Blazor is based on WebAssembly, which is an open standard and therefore does not require any plugin to be installed. This course is aimed at getting you started with Blazor in a very hands-on way. You'll build together with me a full Blazor application using Visual Studio 2019. You'll learn how a new project is created, how to use data binding, how to access data from a service in Blazor, how to create components and how to deploy the application. Some of the major topics that we'll cover include build a fully working application, starting from file new project that you can use as the foundation for your own project, understand the architecture of a new Blazor application, Learn about data binding in Blazor and how to access real data from an API. See the differences between client and server-side Blazor and how to convert apps from the one to the other. Integrate JavaScript components, such as a map. By the end of this course, you'll know how you can build a full real-world Blazor application using Visual Studio 2019. Before beginning this course, you should be familiar with some c -sharp and HTML. I hope you will join me on this journey to learn Blazor with the Blazor Getting Started course here at Pluralsight.